All right, Danny O'Neill, you spent all weekend down at the VMAC. You were live chatting away. You were writing away for 710sports.com. Let me give you a scenario and tell me if you can bite it all. You ready? Mm-hmm. 11 draft picks. We've looked at the body of work on all of these guys. What do they do? Well, their unique skill set. Yep. Many of them highly productive at different stages of their career. They can add something to a meeting room or the position room or the whole offensive or defensive room that the organization doesn't have. I can give you a Heisman Trophy winner, a guy that tilts the field, a guy that's had success in this league, in fact, won a playoff game. So why isn't T Tim Tebow considered? Why did John Schneider just poo-poo my question of whether or not Tim Tebow could be brought in? I think they've already asked and answered this question, even though Tim Tebow was only released on Monday by the Jets. This is a player that they looked at after they made the decision to trade Matt Flynn. They went through the process of looking at different and inquiring about different backup quarterbacks. The only reason that they would do it now as opposed to then would be if the price had changed. Mm -hmm. Either they had to give up a draft pick to get him from the Jets, they weren't comfortable paying for his contract, but I think that they had already kind of asked and answered the question, is he a fit? Here's the reason he would not be a fit, okay. is that if he is someone that is still looking to a path to start. But if, that's impossible. There's hard, Tell me a path to start anywhere in this league. If you go to somewhere like Jacksonville, which has already said they don't want him, somewhere like Buffalo, a place without an established starter, you've got a thing of even if you don't get on the field this year, that you're learning the offense, that you're moving up, even somewhere like Oakland. Like those are different opportunities as opposed to Seattle where that's not going to happen with Russell Wilson here. You and I would both like to see him here at least for a tryout, right? At least kick the tires a little bit. doesn't cost you anything. You're not going to shake. They're not going to give him a press conference. There's going to be no expectations. Clearly, you and I would like to see them do that. Clearly, they've said no. Clearly, they think he has physical limitations that he just can't do the job at the NFL level. And that's why I think John Schneider said uh, no when it comes to Tim Tebow.